Olá a todos que acompanham o Pleno News. Continuamos aqui na premiere do filme Som da Liberdade, agora com o produtor musical Fernando Garibay. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. It's a pleasure. I would like to ask, uh, you, you have already worked with big names of music, like Lady Gaga, Britney Spears. What is the difference between producing for shows, albums, and movies? Well, there's a few differences, but they, they're very similar in the sense that the work with Lady Gaga was for a bigger purpose. The work with uh, a lot of our artists that I've worked with, Britney Spears, are all for a bigger purpose, to bring love to the world. What this movie does is a different level of that. It's bringing awareness for the, the struggles of child trafficking. One of the most difficult subjects to talk about and to bring awareness to the world is even more challenging. So how do you do it where people are inspired to do something about it? Well, you write a piece of music along with an extraordinary piece of art, which is the film, and then create inspiration for people to participate in creating awareness and then participating in creating change. And doing something for children. Particularly, that's the whole mission, is saving children. Saving children from the horrific crimes that happen. And it's the highest calling I believe you can do with your art is for the future of humanity and it's our children. So it's very simple for me to cancel everything to do music for this film, especially the song that is the campaign for the movie. And how did you put your musical signature on this movie? You know, I always created music with the hope of people feeling loved and heard. So that's part of the signature. But it's music making is a collaborative effort, and I couldn't have done it without our artist, Justin Gesso, without our producers, Ramiro Padilla, Danny Padilla, and together we created this piece of music inspired by the film, inspired by the stories of the mothers and fathers that have been through these tragedies, inspired by the children who have suffered. And how powerful is a music in a movie to transmit emotion? It does so many things, and this is something new that we're exploring. The music has the power to go beyond the film. Music is portable. Music is a direct access to your heart, your unconscious, and your limbic, your emotional. It really touches people, right? A hundred percent, at its purest form. Music predates the spoken word as a language. So if you look at what music can do, it's one of the most powerful instruments of change if used correctly. And we hope we've done that with this music and this film. Okay, thank you for, ask, for answer our questions.